Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Philo Notes. In this edition of our daily whiteboard, I will discuss the topic symbolizing propositions in symbolic logic. Please note that this is very important because, as I have already mentioned in the previous edition, before we can determine the validity of an argument in symbolic logic by applying a specific rule, we need to symbolize the argument first. So, how do we symbolize propositions in symbolic logic? Well, first, we need to identify the major connective in the proposition. This is because once we have identified the major connective, we will be able to punctuate the proposition properly. And this is exactly the reason why I discussed first the topic on punctuating propositions in symbolic logic in our previous edition. Then next, we have to keep in mind that the variables or constants such as P and Q or Y and Z stand for the entire proposition and not for the words within the proposition itself. Third and last, we need to put proper punctuation and negation if necessary. Now, today and in the next four other editions, I will provide specific examples wherein I discuss the proper way of symbolizing propositions. Please also check out our previous editions titled Punctuating Propositions and the Statements Used in Symbolic Logic for you to have a better understanding of these interrelated topics. Alright, now let's get started with example number one. Suppose we have this proposition. If the squatters settle here, then the cattle man will be angry and there will be a fight for water rights. P Q R. Now as we can see, this example is a combination of a conditional proposition and a conjunctive proposition. However, if we analyze the proposition, it becomes clear to us that it is a conditional proposition whose consequent is a conjunctive proposition. Thus, the major connective in this proposition is then. Hence, when we symbolize the proposition, we need to punctuate the consequent. And so, if we let P stand for the squatter settle here, Q for the cattle man will be angry, and R for there will be a fight for water rights, then the proposition is symbolized as P, then Q, and R. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me today in this edition of our daily whiteboard here at Philo Notes as we try to make the understanding of philosophy incredibly easy. Keep looking forward to our series of editions on the topic Symbolic Logic. And I hope you find this material helpful. And if you do, feel free to subscribe. Thanks. Take care.